All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure is I'm heading out onto Lake Harris in Newcomb, New York. I'm gonna paddle around Lake Harris, see what I can see, so follow along. Lake Harris in Newcomb, New York. I'll turn the kayak a little bit. The state park is over here to our right. And you can see the campers over there, people in the water. We have a number of people all over the place here. So I really don't know how big this lake is, but we'll find out. I'm going to be paddling around for the afternoon. So, follow along. folks welcome back well I'm out here in Lake Harris paddling around over here is the Newcomb Town Beach and Lake Harris goes behind me a little ways and then the state campground is right over this way that's where I'm staying and it's a nice day it really is a nice day I've been paddling now for a couple of hours just paddling around looking at places and uh, so came in yesterday and it was a uh, not really a good vibe coming in here I've been to Newcomb before I've known people here in Newcomb I've uh, been through here several times this is the first time I've stopped and stayed here and uh, I'll tell you you know traveling here I got to travel down route 56 to route 3 on Route 30 in the Long Lake, and then you turn on 29 or 28N, and uh, come to Newcomb. And uh, boy, as soon as I got to Newcomb, the 45 mile an hour speed zone, there was a trooper sitting there. And you know, my days of 
emergency services. I wave to ambulances and fire trucks and police cars. I just do it. It's out of habit. I just do it. And I waved to that first trooper, and he glared at me. And I was like, Shh. okay. And a quarter mile down the road, there was another trooper set up in a speed trap. And I waved to him and got glared at. And then pulling on the campsite road here to go to the campsite, and there's a trooper sitting at the end of that road. And I waved to him and got glared at. And I was like, ugh. Well, it's Monday. Maybe they're having a bad day. I don't know. So I get to the camp, the campsite gate, and check-in time is from noon to 9 p.m., and it was 10 after 12, and as soon as I got up there, I told them I'm checking in. I got chastised for being here early. I don't know what the issue was, but you know, it's not like there was somebody on my site. There was nobody on my site. So she did the paperwork up and started listing off a bunch of rules because of the COVID thing where you got to wear your mask um don't do this don't do that and then she said and this is your one and only warning and i'm like my one and only warning for what and she says anything if any of my staff has to speak to you about anything at all i call the state police they take it to you and i'm like Okay, and I got back in my truck and I said, well, that was pleasant. So then I was driving down the road. Now the interior roads here at the state park is, is pretty good. They've been paved within the last year or two, and but they're narrow. And there's a one lane bridge and I came to that bridge and I got almost, I was all the way across, the truck was all the way across, the camper was still sitting on the bridge. When a guy in a Subaru cross check came up and stopped. And of course, I stop, I can't go anywhere, and he puts down the window and says that I need to move for him. <laughs> my truck's 22 feet, my camper is 32 feet from bumper to tongue, and I'm like, you're in the Subaru Crosscheck, you're freaking 15 feet long, and he wants me to move for him. So, yeah, I got into the site easy enough, the site barely holds my camper, but it's, uh, then, uh, then thunderstorms rolled in for two hours, at, right after I got set up. So yesterday was kind of a weird day, you know, I didn't get to do much yesterday afternoon, I was hoping to get out here on Lake Harris yesterday, but because of the thunderstorms and the lightning, I couldn't, and just the bad vibe in this place, I don't know. So Lake Harris State Campground, they have a lot of sites, but if you have a big rig, bigger than, longer than 20, 24 feet, they don't have a lot of sites that are going to accommodate you. So if you have a motorhome, if you have a big fifth wheel, you may want to reconsider coming to Lake Harris. There's not a lot of sites that can handle those big rigs here, and the road is narrow. And the thing that sucks about the road is you can't pull off it because there's a ditch on each side. So, but we'll make the best of it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to follow the adventure. Thanks for joining.